Ah, uh, yes, the new German MP Harpoon. This is a wonderful weapon introduced in 1937. For their whale ships. Their whale ships off the coast of Bolivia. Yes. Uh, the, lo the lesser known World War II front. Welcome back to the Evil Within. Uh, we're mustering maximum enthusiasm for what we can do here. Along with the, the loaves and the fishes. The loaves being bodies we shoot down into murky pits. Uh, the game is bonkers. And not in the best way. Uh, we're, I, I, Browbeat, I'm having trouble uh, tying it all together. And this is coming from the guy who's all about context and story. I know there's a plot. I know that there's uh, something special about Sebastian that we're playing as. But every time I even reach out to Nutchuck saying, Are you, like, having his response? He goes, Yeah. Yep. We're just pushing forward because video games. Pretty much. And this is... As far as dilapidated cities with sinkholes in them, this is pretty well modeled, but again, in this game, in a Resident Evil-like game, this just seems really strangely paced. Who the hell still drives Dotsons? Uh, that guy. Whatever dude bought out the liquidation stock. How did that bus get in there? The charter bus? The charter bus. Uh, backwards, apparently. Or fell through the ceiling. Just Because earthquakes are weird. As it was driving, just the, the building came up and it went through the window. Remember how you fell through a wall sideways once? Yeah. Same principle. Gotcha. Did you ever see the uh, thing that happened about a week ago where the, the car managed to f get lodged in the third story building of a dentist office? No. Off of an interstate? Yeah, lost control. <laughs> Guy lost control and I missed. I, I thought it was a bottle in his hand. Like, ah! Leave me alone! Gotta open this. Gotta drink this. A uh, guy lost control and he uh, went flying. Off the interstate. Off the interstate. Was it an overpass? No. Was was anybody injured? Nope. Was this after hours? Nope. Middle of the what day, like the three, in the, three in the afternoon. <laughs> Gosh. So they call a tow truck and he's like, sir, uh, you're not going to believe this. Let me just send a picture to describe the situation. Do you, uh, do you have a helicopter that can pull this out? <laughs> what? We need a crane for the crane. <laughs> Alright, you're going to crane this crane up, yes, and then this crane is going to pull you while this crane pulls the car out. We need no. some come-alongs, some chains, and a really driven Filipino man. you will fix it for you right now. Well, because basically he'll come up there and come up, Oh man, shit, this is nothing, man. Back in the islands, man, we got this shit all the time. Hurricane come through, I fish out my pickup truck out of the street. Come on, I'll show you this, I'll show you this. You think I'm joking, I know people like this. I've never heard one of those stories, but yeah, I believe it. Oh, hey, look! Yay! Up, up some stairs. Um, weird pacing. Really weird pacing. Yes. Uh, RE4 has had some weird shit, but this is... Oof, this is getting up there. How did Chapter 11 start? I don't remember. We walked out of the hospital and the city was falling Thank apart, God, right? right? Yeah, I just remember about halfway through we kept getting hit in the head with a... Uh, wasn't easy. Saw thing. At least I oh yeah, had any the saw thing. The Matrix saw thing. Yep. Episodes. I wish I could say the same. What happened? Kidman! Hey, she raped I me. I might have found us some transport. A little hashtag, bit. Hashtag me too. <laughs> hashtag me too. Well, in their case, it is me too. Wait, what? Are we going to have a Max Payne like... Uh, that's a really wide bus. Is that is. Gonna run? Are those bathroom stalls? <laughs> They're not, but that'd be the deluxe bus. Okay, yeah, we're having a speed moment. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? This is stuff. The airport. I've already been to the airport. Dear God, it, oh no, it's Porcupine Man. The real deal, Spider-Man. Oh shit. Goddamn things from Cloverfield. Good curb mount, dude. What? What? Is it inhaling its own farts? The ride? That's a really slow way to transition. <laughs> <laughs> oh my friends, I'm a giant spider monster. <laughs> the giant spider monster gets a little uglier. Uh yeah man, I'm out of ideas. It's it's it really is. It's sucking down its own farts, I think. It's the uh jackass two skip when they're on a treadmill. And parts or whatever. Now listen, I'm a big fan of Doom. This is right in between that design. 
I forget what the demons are called, but there's these giant fleshy baby faced things that have rocket launcher arms. This is a version of that. Or in well, the I got the bus is moving, but I'm not. Yes. <laughs> well you've got really good bus legs. Years of public transit that have done this to you. Uh, Dragon Age, the the, the, the blighted have uh, brood mothers that look a lot like this, just fewer spider legs, more tentacles. In Japan, that's called porn. Porn? I mean, national pastime. Yeah. <laughs> national pastime with tentacles. Yeah, it keeps everyone happy. Every spring. You do it with dignity, to preserve national pride. I'm gonna laugh if I come up and the, and the bus is turned and I'm still standing straight like, like what? Really good bus legs. Oh, those explosive things you can shoot too, to get it off, off filter. Flashing red stuff after all. Okay, now we stuck. I don't know how long we'll be safe here. Quick, we gotta use the door to get out. Uh what? What was the uh in RE5 there's a sequence with a Jeep, a machine gun, and some giants, right? The, yes. Uh it's you, like you you shoot some bikers and then you end up in a small village so you gotta shoot the rocks that the guy has in his hands. I'm just I'm trying to put this level in context with the genre of the game we're playing, and I can't. I just... The escalation does not make sense. No, it, uh, too much of a change of pace for this game. But it's even, I mean, we've had third-person action games where there's shooting on a moving platform, but that was barely that. You, you dislodge yourselves from the first grass, and then you got left beat. You say, what is this guy shooting? That guy. This guy shooting that guy. Very descriptive. You can tell him to put the candle back, but the candle has more kick to it. That's a good effect. That's good flames. I wonder if he went through the fire and flames. Who the hell's the name? No. No. Not him. Good night. What timing is in that phrase? Good night. Bow. Get to cover. They're shooting from above. <laughs> As he screams, get to cover, you explode the enemy's cover. No, no cover for me, no cover for that. Keep things equitable. Like Ecuadorians. Ecuadorians? <laughs> I was like, what? Uh. Did you ever see a James Woods film called Salvador? No. I try not to watch many James Woods films. Really? Why do you like James Woods? Oh, I don't have nothing against James Woods. Well, why don't you want Uh, I don't know. The last James Woods film I ever saw was Hercules. You mean you didn't see White House Down? No. Kid liked it. The oldest does. Uh huh. I'm not a big fan. I like it. Um, because it's Roland Emmerich, just having fun. It's totally weird for what he usually does. Is that the one with Gerard or is that the one with uh, Tatum? Tatum. And Jamie Foxx as the president. Yes. Still the President Fox. Still the best president of all time, Morgan Freeman. He's okay. Or. Yeah, Deep Impact, is it? Some of all fears? Some of all fears, thank you. I had the wrong movie. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, I think I'm wrong. Why Lucius are we still Fox for president. Uh, you're missing something, I'm sure. But then, because you are, I am as well. Kid yeah. Man is just camping out. How do you open this door? There's uh, no handle! Uh, it's, <laughs> it's just it's, a window! <laughs> it's just the window. Uh, you board the bus from the side. What are you, from out of town? Up Hostiles. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that was you this time. I think that was just the game saying you have to miss. Combustible. Yeah, what? That was a close one. Fuck this. I don't. I don't know anymore. I don't know. I'm almost out of ammo though. Good. Maybe we'll die. You know, a long time ago, I played a game called uh, Eat Lead, colon, The Return of Max Hazard. Which was a joke in itself because Max Hazard wasn't a character that was ever around before. But the game implies that he left. He's the Duke Nukem of this alternate world, where he had a whole bunch of 2D side-scrolling action games. Then he lived it up big, and he didn't make games anymore. So now it's years later, he wants to get relevant, and he's never done a, a third-person action game before. 
So the game is an average shooter with a lot of like tongue-in-cheek stuff about the genre, the industry, etc. I can't call it a great game, but it had moments of brilliance, like fighting Wolfenstein-era sprites that would turn sideways to get covered. Because they're flat. They have no depth, so it worked really well. But I don't think about those kind of stand the jokes were predictable. Uh, I feel like that game's camp humpiness was more appropriate than the bus being stuck in the building. Yeah. But... Okay. Sh shaking the money maker. Or rather the larva maker. <laughs> Superb bus legs. A plus. Fucking Harry Potter getting rocked side to side. Stand but Thanos down. is just... Dude, what's the problem? Damn larvas. Stop it. Just hanging in the air. Tumbling out of nowhere. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I want the medicine. I want the drugs. <laughs> so you see the big monstrosity in front of you go, nope, not having this. And you just take a bunch of drugs. <laughs> Whoa, Sebastian, have you seen this? No. Well, you probably should have. Looks like the only thing you want to be able to do. <laughs> I just stand there, mid-chase. Hmm, let me consider my options. Well, it doesn't seem responsive to electricity. I have grenades. Also, this magnum I'm using. Oh, look, it worked itself out. Yep. Really good camera angles for cinematography, but. Yeah. Okay, we're going with that. That's how you defeat the monster. Yeah. A bus hanger. Or a bus hanger. Well, it's not a monster, actually. Airplane yeah. hanger. It, it then ended up in limbo. And then we oh. killed it some more. Good point. Same dude. Where are we heading, Joseph? I've got a theory. We I've got a theory. Don't we all? Almost as if oh, it's Harry Potter as played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. So nearly impossible to get any sense of the geography from uh, here. But the light, that one movie he where he plays a porn addicted always in guy. The distance. Oh yeah, Looper. Yeah. This thing you found was after Looper. Actually, the hell was that? I've seen it in more than one place. Thank you. Terrible. I own that movie. It's such a dumb like movie. Exactly it is. Hard to be sure. And yet, the thing that he I wrote it and directed it. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Like, yeah, my directorial debut. Cannot all be keys. But like I said. Like key and peel. Or you direct to get out. What, what's wrong with Insidious for the last key? Straight for the hospital. Exactly. Did he do that nice too? Work, no. Let's say, well, wait a minute. It's like, did he do that one too? Because if that's the case... We're aware there's a story going on, but let's talk about how you don't like Don John. It's just a dumb movie. But what is it about? About a Boston guy who's addicted to porn who starts dating a chick. Who gets upset that just he watches porn. Here. And then he starts banging the chick from Sonsu. There's an ambulance Sonsu there. Lames. There might be some kind of first aid. What's her name? I'll go. No, I'll do it. Don't let any of them. I'm just gonna pretend that bus door did not just magically. The window. Up. It became a jar. Okay. So when you put it like that, you're right. It's very dumb. It is. If we take every other good movie and oversimplify it like that, it will be equally dumb. No. Because they don't say anything about self-reflection, about redemption arcs about the characters themselves being caricatures of what they think they should be. And it takes somebody that's a lot more comfortable with themselves and grounded to say, you don't need any of this shit. Y you're missing the point. I have to rewatch the movie. I know. I know you do. Oh, that's not kidding. Whenever... <laughs> nope. A different officer lady. Usually when you bring something up with a strong flavor like, dumb, stupid, I hate it, the answer is about the same. You weren't really paying attention. I was paying attention, but I got the basics out of the movie. Okay, so what are the basics of Gladiator? Uh, let's see, guy fights, he's fighting for the Roman army, well actually a general for the Roman army. That doesn't matter, he's fighting for the Roman army. Yep, fights for the Roman army, yeah. uh, gets betrayed because the guy wants to become emperor and he doesn't want his son to become emperor, so his son kills his wife and children. For that the sounds family. really complicated, simplify it. Uh, he gets fucked over. Uh, so now he becomes a gladiator because he uh, was ripped off, I should say, or screwed out of a becoming a. No, 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 no. Like this, like this. A uh, guy fights for the Roman army, gets betrayed and thrown into slavery, kills everyone, and dies at the end. Ah, uh, yeah. That sounds pretty dumb, huh? No. Well, let's simplify Inception. I've never seen Inception, so I can't do that one. Okay, let's simplify Young Frankenstein. Hilarious. <laughs> that's all you. That's all you need to say. Hilarious. Mel Brooks. 
Let's simplify Noah. Oh god. You, you do that one. I, I don't even want to talk about that movie. It does not, it does not be on my palate of my tongue at all. A, an alcoholic gets an instruction kit of how to not drown. Does it? The end. And then saves his family. Ah, it doesn't matter. He gets the kit, he gets he, old, he, follow he gets the kit, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Whoa, isn't it some rebar? Monster combos. Get some help from uh, some golem uh, let's, monsters. Let's simplify Hercules. Uh, guy gets, uh, wait, the story, the actual story or the movie? James Woods Hercules. Oh, James Woods Hercules. Um, <laughs> uh, jealous, jealous God I'm kills... I'm gonna this car. Jealous God tries to kill a young man uh, who comes to find out is... A, a hero or a god. So, pretty much simple. Uh, not, a not, bastard son of a Fortune 500 company. Not in that movie. Uh, attempts to. Are you talking about Wolf of Wall Street? to find daddy. No, I'm talking about uh, Hercules. Not in, the, uh, in that movie. He's not a bastard son. He is. Totally is. Hair, he's born from here and all that. They, they, oh, they that, loved him. That, that's what's at the party. Sure. Yeah. Like, oh, look at this lovely baby that I just found. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> Did you turn into a goose again? No. No, I didn't. Are those feathers? No, they're not. <laughs> Lies. Why are you so nosy? I'm just trying to figure out why uh, this doesn't happen. Let's simplify Frozen. Uh, four retards go into a forest and try to save the day. There you go. S sexual identity is an important thing. Yeah, I'll go with that one. That, that's a good one. I actually had uh, the makings of a fun thought game uh, that involved movies with famous elements that could be reduced down to memes. Huh. Like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean being recalled, just the name of the movie, for a different audience. Because, like, you know, English doesn't work that way all the time. So, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, could have been called Ma uh, Johnny Depp's Magic Compass. Johnny Depp's Magic? Yeah. For China. You could do that. Like, that, that would have worked. Yay! Okay, now, now we're getting different. You found a packet of curry. Pour it over your wound. I just drive. And I think I saw it when I was in Cancun a long time ago with my father. And there was a commercial for uh, that movie with Liam Neeson where he's stranded in the tundra has to fight off wolves with a knife. Gray. Gray, that's the one. For whatever reason, that never came up. Like, the name of the movie never came up. But the phrase forever alone was used repeatedly in the clips for the movie. He's not actually alone in the whole movie. He's not. He's, he's but to think of the Forever Alone meme as being misused as a uh, film trailer, as like the name of the picture, I thought to myself, that works. That works. You could do that. Oh. So when you tell me that stupid movies suck because reasons, I'm like, okay, how can we oversimplify other films to be meme worthy or like just to be like that one guy who walks out of the theater and spoils every film? I'm always that guy. Yeah. You're highly redacted. There's a use for that. Let's let's practice that. We had done a, a test review for a film, have we not? Yes, we're still waiting on it to be edited. Sure. So how would you summarize that film? How would you oversimplify it? Oversimplify it. Three foreigners go on vacation in Europe and get caught in a murder house. Murder vacations are dangerous. If you want to put in those words, murder vacations are dangerous. Mm -hmm. That... That's not how cars explode. That car must have been hollow. Yeah, it's a dissolving car! <laughs> oh boy, you know, let's talk about the sequence that reminds me so much of another better game called Dead Rising. You ever played Dead Rising? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. But we don't remember uh, this, this thing where you, a white protagonist, are having to grapple with a Humvee and a machine gun. But there are three ex-cons cruising around the mall grounds in a Humvee with a 50 cal. I remember that part from the very beginning. You gotta find some way to deal with that. Or not. Maybe just avoid it. <laughs> they all turn. We're on the set of Thriller. The Revival. <laughs> Actually, who would they cast to play Michael Jackson? What? In what? In the Michael Jackson movie it's gonna happen. In whatever. Uh, they Next cast three the years. white guy in the... Uh, <laughs> in the most recent one they've done. In, they've done in Europe. What was the most recent one? The fuck it, they're shuffling! You see it? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't! Let them dream! It's happening! Thriller! 
Uh, so what was the what was the Michael Jackson film from Europe? I don't remember, but uh, it was about a journey with him. I don't think I was. Uh, Wait, uh, Michael Jackson and Journey double feature concert? Yeah. Whoa. But it's gonna be with Anil Pineda instead of uh, uh, Steve Perry. I'm sorry, a little orphan Andy. What are you talking about? Anil Pineda is the uh, guy who replaced Steve Perry. Okay. See, I didn't know that at all. At all. Yeah. So when he left, uh, this guy is from the Philippines. How are you firing that, by the way? I don't know. Because think about where your legs are. Yeah, you're in the back. That's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, you're not. If you're doing this, the way you're firing, yep. you're sitting on top of the cab, just flopping over it. Huh? Did they just blast them all? Somebody, Ooh, did. Somebody else shooting you. What the fuck is this sequence? Why are we doing this? Who knows? You want to shoot those barrels? Not yet. It doesn't get overheated, so I can just hold the trigger all day long. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot of fun for everyone. Do I need to? Somebody's calling for you. Sebastian, I think Sebastian, get off. Please hurry. Please hurry. There's no one coming anymore. You lazy fucks. Oh, they will. See. Keep them off me. But where are you? I don't know, but they all came out of nowhere. Explosive bolts. Close. Almost made it. Whoa, look at all the blood. Oversimplify the prestige. Uh, two magicians get prestige. That's not the magician, right? <laughs> yes. I had to think about that. I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I thought for a second, two magicians get prestige. <laughs> all right, good, good. Next movie. Um, prestige, uh, two magicians try to one-up each other, uh, and then we to murder. Two magicians realize one of them is Christian Bale. Panic ensues. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, drew it like it's hot! I recently rewatched The Machinist. I, uh, hard to believe that that was his role right before Batman. Yeah, it is hard to believe. Fucked him up for his whole life, I guess. Yeah, it's some like severe liver damage or something like that. Uh-huh. I forgot how skinny you got. Yeah, all he was eating was like an apple a day, like, oh. Oversimplify the machines. Oh, dude, it's been years since that movie, so a uh, guy becomes schizophrenic and loses a bunch of weight and kills people. Oh, that's a she. You needed it. You need to put the curry in his wounds. Uh, oversimplifying the machinist. Uh, sleep, goddammit. Shit. That's the point of the film. It's more than that, but to, get out to describe here, it is a complete spoiler. And the machinist is a good once the route with uh, with Michael Ironside. Always worth it in my book. Oh, you can steer. It's gonna get a so steer into them. Naturally. That is a really responsive bus. Uh, Timmy Bossman. Just get all the cars. It's fine. There's no health bar. It's, it's like a turret. It's, what the fuck is this game? Jesus uh, fucking Christ. This is either the world's fastest bus or um, no one knows. Oh, well. And then he touches the bus and the bus dies. Every oh, time when you're about to have fun. Not Wesker. Oh god, he's E.T. Put the metal to the pedal to the other metal. I oh, literally about did the Jurassic lights. Park theme song. Like, da, 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 da. <laughs> wait, 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 wrong movie. Wrong spot movie. I'm okay with this crossover. Oh yeah. Uh, what the? Their faces in shattered. That's just how that bus got in the diddle office. Oh. Every episode, I forget his name. And nothing's wrong with the front of that car. Ruvik? Ruvik. Mr. Ruvik Cube. He's the assassin of the Assassin's uh, Creed Rejection Group. Yeah, the future assassin. Yeah. Alright, let's oversimplify more movies next time. Say it.